In today's video, I'm going to show you how I went from a no makeup phase to a full glam phase in four different stages. And each of the four stages can be one look. So if you want to know how I did this, keep on watching. The first look is for my skincare girlies, the ones who are not really into makeup and would prefer to go out without makeup with a full face of skincare. So I've already done my moisturization. I'm just going to apply a little bit of sunscreen, uh, tinted lip balm and that will be my final look. There's absolutely nothing wrong in going out in your bare skin. So it's a choice. You make your choices. You do you. The second look is my favorite. It's the OG no makeup makeup look. I'm going to start off with a illuminating moisturizer to give that healthy glow from within kind of an effect. Next, I'm going to mix my two concealers to give uh, to avoid layering basically and mix them up, warm it up and apply a light layer under my eyes. Um, around my nose area and around my mouth I'm going to apply it with my fingers and blend it out as much as possible with my fingers because this way it's going to uh, set very well and it's going to give a very skin like finish Once I've nicely blended it out with my fingers, I'm going to wet my sponge with my primer water and do the final uh, blending. This entirely will give a very seamless finish. Next is the eyes. I'm going to move to the eyes and I'm just going to take a little bit of brown eyeshadow and define my lower lash line area. And this will actually give a very simple definition to my eyes nothing too much uh, after this i'm going to just add some mascara very very simple keeping it extremely simple and easy to do next moving on to blush for a no makeup makeup look you want to choose a blush that is a little bit long lasting uh, but is also not too much this one from prosh beauty gives a very very um light tint to my cheeks and also uh, lasts a long time then i'm going to just set my eyebrows with a setting spray so that it lasts finally applying a nude eyeliner sorry a nude lip liner uh, on my lips blending it out and then setting my under eye area with a little bit of powder to complete the look what do you think Moving on, it's time for a full face of makeup, but this look is not too out there. I'm going to take the same brown eyeshadow and define my crease, my upper lid, and then use a nude gold eyeshadow to define and place on my lid area. Then I'm taking a little bit of um, a dark reddish brown shade and defining my lower lash line area. This gives a good definition to the eyes without being too much. Next, I'm going to add a heavier liquid blush. This is the Rare Beauty one. It has solid pigmentation and also gives a very dewy finish, which is perfect for this look. Once that's done, I'm again going to set my under eye area, my smile line area with uh, loose powder to sort of finish the look and also blend out the edges and for my lips i'm going for a nude shade but a little darker nude if i apply this lipstick properly it's not as nude as it appears here but i wanted a subtle color not too much and then defining my eyes with a little kajal and that's my makeup look what do you think comment down below what you think up till now now to the glam look now i understand that everybody has their own different versions of glam and this is my version adding a bit more color so i'm going to take a dark pink shade and blend it in with the brown that i had applied previously the idea is to build on whatever we already have keeping aside my obsession for new glam i'm going to add a little bit of color to not exactly the center to the outer center edge of the lid and again blend it out with the pink and brown shades and for the inner part of the eyes the inner lid area 
I'm going to apply gold, but not just any gold. I'm going to add loose glitter. This is from Forever 52. And you do not apply it like this. Like when I started applying, I forgot how exactly you should apply loose glitter. But you take the glitter and then just tap on the space that you want to fill it with and let it set on its own. It's going to do an amazing job look at the eyes i mean it's not too much but it at the same time is so so stunning i'm going to apply a little bit of normal highlighter to the uh, lower waterline the inner corners of the lower waterline and also give my nose a bit of snatched appearance next i'm going to draw a winged eyeliner a mini wing not too much i could have done too much but then i didn't want uh, people to focus on the wings more than the shades on my eyelids so that's why i just did a baby wing and then i'm just going to lightly bronze my face define my jawline and apply a little warmth to my face To add on to the blush, I am adding this shimmer uh, blush from Swiss Beauty and this is really pigmented. I am just adding on my cheeks, my chin, my nose area and it's giving that glowy, glammed up look. You know, I don't usually do my brows but since this is a glam look, I wanted to do my eyebrows a little bit. So just filling in wherever I can. Always, uh, you know, when you're defining your eyebrows, fill in the arches. That actually makes a lot of difference. Then I'm going to add a little bit of pink to my lips and then going to end the lip, lip part by adding a little bit of gloss obviously you can do uh, whatever you feel like you can remove the previous uh, lip color altogether and add a new lip color i added one more layer of my favorite mascara the previous one was from elf and this is from too faced love love this mascara and that's it that's my final look the full glam look we started with nothing and we ended up here I had so much fun doing this. I did it for an Instagram reel which I'm going to link down below. Make sure you come back to my channel for more such videos.